Hi everyone, uh, this is basically a video stating about fuel cuts when it comes to only MR2s as far as what I know. Now, at any time, if you're driving your MR2 turbo and you seem to, you know, feel the need to punch it a little bit and you end up hitting that full load, downshifting, etc. And these lights come on. When those lights come on while you're driving, what's going to happen is that your RPMs are going to shut down. Don't get scared. Don't be alarmed. Your car didn't malfunction. Your, your car isn't going to die. You know, for all you new owners to MR2 turbos, it just means that you got a fuel cut. What happens normally with a fuel cut is that you're not going to get as much boost. Your RPMs, when you hit maybe around three, anywhere from 2,000 to 7,000 RPMs, you're going to start bogging. If you start bogging, no, this does not mean that your turbo went out. It just means that you got a boost leak. And if it hits, if it's really bad to a point where you're at second gear and you're trying to even hit it and it's like bogging really bad where you're, you're getting a lot of hesitation from your car, that means that you got a major boost leak. So check all your piping components. Make sure that every single bolt, every single clamp is tightened extremely well as far as anywhere from your turbo to your, to your intake, to your air intake, your turbo, to your intercooler, your intercooler, to your throttle body, all those pipings are completely tightened. And even your blow -off valve, if you have, if you have an aftermarket, aftermarket blow -off valve, make sure that all the gases going on the blow -off valve are completely sealed and tight, because that could be also a, um, a boost leak. All vacuum lines, you know, make sure the little vacuum line that goes from the inner, from the blow -off valve to the little vacuum line on the engine bay, make sure that that one as well is completely tight and is sealed properly. Now, like I said, I didn't have this video when I first purchased my car, so that happened to me, and I couldn't find any video on YouTube. So this is something for anybody that's recently bought an uh, MR2 and cannot figure out what's going on. Check this video out. It's uh, It definitely will help you out a lot. So just make sure that that all your pipings are completely, you know, that are completely tight. Nothing is loose, and you should be fine. You should be good to go. And well, good chances are that if you do have a boost leak it'll most likely get you like like i have aftermarket in um boost boost gauge it'll hit you like maybe two two psi to five psi no that does not mean that your turbo went out it just means that you're not getting all that means that you're getting a boost leak and it's not giving you a full boost so like i said once that happens when you get a fuel cut defender your engine's gonna do this while i turn while you're driving and it's basically gonna shut off and just pull, pull over to the side take out your key put it back on and just turn the car up, and it, it'll it start up completely fine. You know, your car didn't die, or, you know, nothing's wrong with it. It just means you got a fuel cut, all right? So, like I said, there, hopefully this video helps anybody that has MR2 and isn't well-rounded when it comes to fuel cuts. These, are, have, these cars have already a built-in fuel cut. So, just make sure you guys check, check this video out. And for anybody that doesn't know, it'll be a really good knowledge for you guys. Thanks. Bye.